Greetings. Um, I apologize that I did not have good clarity in my earlier accusations or allegations or what have you today as to uh, President Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu uh, deciding to break the new international law uh, wherein the United Nations Security Council ordered safe passage uh, for it to carry out, uh, to bring in emergency medical supplies, food, that kind of thing into Gaza. Um, it, very good uh, Israeli uh, journalist, Noga Tar Tarpolinsky, if I have her name pronounced correctly, um, said that on the following day after the vote, President Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu agreed that uh, the war would continue unabated. Um, that's not necessarily in violation of what was passed, which was safe passage. What, what Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, who's been incredibly great on so many different areas. I, I think he may be the best uh, Secretary General of the United Nations we've seen in many, many years. <coughs> um, what he explained is that roughly 175 UN workers were killed by Israel in an unprecedented, in all the years of the United Nations, never, ne something this serious has never happened. Um, that uh, Israel knew that, that the UN workers were going to be using a specific bridge to carry supplies. Let's say this was two weeks ago, sometime in the past, uh, and bombed it anyway. And so, you know, um, one could, a, a, a prosecutor, it, that could be a war crime against the United Nations. Um, so when uh, Secretary General Gutierrez, he tried to get a, a, an all-out ceasefire, but he couldn't, the U U.S. vetoed it. Uh, then he retreated and said, well, just at least give us safe passage. So the United States and Russia abstained, and the three other countries, China, England and France voted for the safe passage for UN workers. So it's now got the effect of international law. It was passed by the United Nations Security Council. It's binding. We don't know yet whether uh, it's going to be safe. I mean, it's now law. It has to be safe. And uh, so I, I'm not going to retract the earlier video, which was, I was overreacting. I admit I, I was overreacting because I wasn't clear what uh, exactly the narrowness of, of, of what the U, UN Security Council has now enacted into law. But, but the thing is, we don't know, even though it's much more limited than I thought, um, We'll find out. I, quite honestly, I, I, I think Biden, Mr. Biden and Mr. Netanyahu are violating even the limited safe passage thing. I don't think that uh, there's any guarantees of safety here. I mean, think of it, if you were a UN worker and you knew that approximately 175 UN workers were basically murdered by Israel, a, a, a criminal case for murder from what I gather could be made. It's depraved indifference. Israel knew that these aid workers were crossing a certain bridge. They bombed the bridge anyways. I mean, it's, and the 175 people died. I mean, that looks like murder to me. Anyways, uh, because we, if it's even if it's not the specific intent to kill those workers, it's the, the bombing was done with depraved indifference, do you follow me? Which is a form of murder. And uh, so what would you do?
if if you were a UN worker and you said, well, do you want, it's up to, let's, you think of Antonio Guterres, right? He, he'd probably say, literally, to the UN workers, we're not going to order you, right, to be killed, right? Um, it's up to you. Do you want to go ahead and, and make these runs, take in emergency medical supplies and food to crossing, <laughs> crossing the bridge, right? I mean, so what you doing? Uh, I don't think it's safe. And if it's not safe, that means that uh, Mr. Biden and Mr. Netanyahu are breaking the law, right? There's, there's, it's re they're, re they're required to conduct themselves such in a way that that passage is safe, and they're not doing it. So we, we don't know. Yet, it'll it'll unfold in the next few days. Either the UN workers will, it will proceed, and return to crossing the bridge of death, right? Or they won't. We'll find out. It's, it's not really funny. In fact, if I was going to make a prediction, uh, it'd be that it's more likely than not. Uh, Joe Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu are breaking the law, and it's not safe, and the UN workers will not uh, do the suicide room to try to bring aid to the people who need it in Gaza. Um, 